So today we've got an Easter baking video for you and we're making colourful spring cookies with buttercream icing and they look really cool. Um, we just thought that you could make these with your friends or family for Easter or even by yourself and they'd be a great snack. Yeah, and I think they're really easy to make with not many ingredients and they taste great. So we're going to show you how to make them. Let's go. Just a little announcement. <laughs> um, by the way, um, the recipe that we found is in cups and like American jars. <laughs> so we've um, we've converted it to millilitres and grams because we don't have scales or anything. We've only got milliliter like cup things. So we'll put the like cup measurements and the grams and the millilitres down below so you can do it with whatever measuring equipment you have, but this is the only one that we could use, so that's what we'll be using. First off, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. First, you're going to need to mix together the flour, the baking powder, and the salt. Okay, so first we're gonna put the flour in, and we need 650 mils, which is what we're using but all the other measurements will be down below, as we said, which is like six lots of these, so it'll probably take a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh well. Baking gets a bit messy. Then you're just gonna to wanna to take a teaspoon of baking powder or baking soda. I think you can use both, to be honest. That's basically the same. Then you're gonna want half a teaspoon of salt. And then you want to mix them together. Put it out. Just um, set that aside, five. We'll leave it over here. Next it says to use an like, electric mixer, but we don't have one. Um, so yeah, we don't have an electric mixer, so we're just going to use a spoon. It will still go well. Yeah. Um, it's one cup of butter, but we're using 240 mils of butter. That's all we know. <laughs> And it says to use softened butter, and this butter's already soft. And we want to mix that with the sugar. And we're using, it's one and a half cups of sugar, but we're using 315 mils. Lovely. Then you just want to mix that all together until it's well combined. So we've mixed together the butter and sugar and now we're just going to beat in an egg and the vanilla extract. It's <laughs> pretty intense. And then you want one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. We have the Madagascar one. Oh. Now we just need to mix them together. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, that was too lovely. Oh, well. Maybe I'm done. Yeah. Now we need to gradually blend in the dry ingredients. Let's do this gradually. <laughs> Let's be gradual about this. Oh. So now they're all mixed together, it should look like a big bowl of cookie dough. Yeah, basically. And now we're going to need to divide it into four, or however many colours you want to do. So it could be three, could be five, could be ten. Who knows? So we have, we're going to use this bowl, and we have three other bowls. Just going to divide it evenly. And now do I put it on? And we have four bowls. Okay. So now we're just going to add a few drops of our colour gels until we've got the colour that we want our cookies to be. It's going yellow! The orange and yellow ones are done and they look like this, they look quite colourful. It took us a while to do, but yeah, you have to really like keep 
go in. So I actually think that maybe food colouring would be better, but better. Yeah, would be better. But now we're just going to do the other lot of dough in blue and pink. We now have all of the doughs, lovely and colourful. Yeah. And pretty. now we're going to make them into, is it cookie strips or? No, just like a ball. Into like, they're balls. like teaspoon sized balls. To put on this tray, but first we need to grease proof the tray, so. Uh, we're just using the sprayable coconut oil, but obviously you can use like grease proof paper or butter or whatever you have. Just gonna spray this. It won't make them taste of coconut though. So we're gonna use a teaspoon to just get out the measurement. There's the balls. Lovely. Ready for the oven. Now you're just gonna want to put them in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. Yeah, don't want them to go brown. Lovely. Yay! The cookies are done. They're looking kind of crazy. Oh, you're so pretty, guys. Let's get rid of them. Cute. Are the orange ones just doing They look oranger than the yellow ones. At least. <laughs> the ones are cool. Here's the array. Stunning. We're going to do 300 millilitres of butter, which is, we'll convert it to grams below. And that's just because our cookies aren't as big as we thought they would be, so we don't need as much butter. You need 500 millilitres of icing sugar, by the way. Now you just need to mix it, but be careful because otherwise the icing sugar will go Fine. everywhere. Now we're just going to add a couple drops of vanilla. Finished. Literally the tiniest. So annoying. He was like, everything's no. perfect, but and now just mix it in smooth and icing right. So now the cookies are cooled, we are going to ice them. Um, and you need to find cookies that are around the same size so you can sandwich them together. Here's the ice. Okay, yeah. let's ice. I still love cookies. <laughs> They're our beautiful cookies. We've iced them now. They look eastery. Perfect for an Easter party. Our friends are going to be in our taste test. And go. You're not in it. Sauce. Come on. Alright, it's that. I can't bite it. Mm, I hope I like it. I think pulled out that one. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. enjoyed yourself during the <laughs> show of this video. You hit me in the head. <laughs> and we hope that you will try this recipe out at home. It will all be below. And uh, we hope you have a great Easter as well. Happy holidays. Remember to like, oh, yeah. comment and subscribe <laughs> if you enjoyed this video.
Bye.